Hi everyone, it's Saturday, April 18th, and we have completed the winter 2020 semester. I know many of you are uh, gearing up for um, a week of grading, um, so it may not be finished yet, um, but we have finished our classes and our teaching for the winter semester. And wow, what a semester it has been. Um, I, I must say for myself, this has definitely been the most challenging semester um, and has really tested my leadership and my uh, resiliency um, in all kinds of ways. Um, and I'm sure for all of you as well, I am just incredibly thankful. Um, I'm sitting outside here on a Saturday in my backyard. Um, the sun is shining, uh, you can hear the birds. Um, and those are the things that uh, give me a lot of peace. Um, so I'm trying to spend a lot of time outside. Um, and just wanted to share, I know I've said this in email several times, but just wanted to share a huge personal thank you to all of you. Um, I know it has not been an easy semester. Um, and I am incredibly proud of all of the work and uh, resiliency and flexibility that you all just jumped in and did what you needed to do to support our students and to ensure that their learning continued um, even through a pandemic. Um, and I wish if we were all together, I would say let's have a round of applause for ourselves because um, we, you all, um, you did it all so well. You did it with grace. Um, and I'm so proud and so thankful. I've reflected, you know, I've been reflecting on leadership um, and just the fact that, um, I mean, this situation is new for all of us. It's new for me as a chair. I've now been a chair for almost five years, but clearly never had to uh, figure out how to lead through a pandemic. So this is new for me in my role as a chair and new for all of us. Um, and just reflecting on how we are all leaders. And, you know, as a chair, I have leadership and I have a certain scope of uh, work that I'm doing, the decisions that I need to make and trying to make those decisions as collaboratively as possible. Um, and that all of you uh, played a critical leadership role in our success. Um, whether it was those of you who are coordinators and um, uh, the work that you've done together collaboratively as a coordinator team, uh, supporting each other, making decisions for our programs um, and needing to move really quickly, as well as those of you who are faculty uh, teaching classes and also supervising our students. You've all had to just jump in and take that leadership, make that decision um, and support our students. Um, so it's just been incredible. And uh, I am just so thankful for our team, for our community services team. Um, I know this isn't over yet. We don't know what the future will look like um, for uh, teaching and learning and with the pandemic. Um, I know those of you, you know, full-time faculty are moving into uh, May, June of doing a lot of preparation for uh, potential uh, planning that we need to have for fall and the potential of needing to be teaching online in the fall. Um, and for those of you who are just completing your semester part-time faculty, um, I hope you have some well-earned and time to rest and relax over the summer. Um, so I just wanted to say a big thank you uh, for this video and I hope you all can get outside this weekend. Um, it looks beautiful and um, I am so blessed to be working with all of you. Thanks so much.